When email was invented, the first test message sent read QWERTY IUOP. Complete gibberish, right? But you see this combination of letters every day. Just glance down at the top row of your keyboard. The letters still don't make sense, so why aren't the keys in alphabetical order? Well, our journey starts before the 1870s, when all letters and notes were handwritten. The only alternative was the printing press, but it was used just for books and newspapers. People were getting increasingly connected, more letters were being sent every day, and a demand for an efficient way of writing something was becoming more urgent. That's when the invention of the typewriter changed the world forever. The first prototypes actually had the ABC layout. The first row showed the second half of the alphabet, and the bottom had the first half. But that led to some technical problems because of how typewriters work. You press a key, and a little hammer with the corresponding letter swings up and presses against a ribbon with ink. This leaves an imprint of that letter on the paper. The problem was, when typing got too fast, the letter hammers would get tangled and jam the whole machine. The solution? Randomize the letters. This helped slow the typing down, and it separated the most common letter pairings. So the W and H, or S and T, would never meet again on the keyboard. When the typewriter was commercially produced and launched for sale in 1874, the keyboard looked almost the same as modern-day ones. The only difference was that the numbers 1 and 0 were left out. People used the capital I and O instead. The 0 was added pretty soon, while some keyboards didn't get a 1 until the 1970s. But that theory doesn't explain why the equally common pair E and R stayed together or T and H are still pretty close to each other. Well, another theory suggests that QWERTY was invented to make it harder to learn and adjust to the unfamiliar setup. Besides selling the typewriter, companies were also selling training courses. And a complicated keyboard setup made sure the typist would need the course to learn how to work only on that model. Now, try this. Type the word typewriter on your keyboard. Did you notice anything strange? All the letters that make up the word are in the top row. Was that a way to immortalize the name of the invention? Or maybe it was just a coincidence? Hmm. There's another theory for why we're still using a seemingly random layout. While typewriters later became an essential in all houses and workplaces, they were first used by telegraph operators. Before the phone was invented, the telegraph was the fastest way of communication. Using Morse code, operators could tap messages in mere seconds. The receiving side only heard dots and dashes and had to transcribe the words as fast as they were sent. Say, somebody wanted to share their favorite YouTube channel with their friends. It would have looked and sounded like this. Telegraph operators found typewriters useful, but the alphabetical keyboard layout was too ineffective and complicated for their needs. One theory suggests that QWERTY evolved with time and direct feedback from telegraph operators. For example, Morse code had the letter Z and the combination SE were very similar. So they had to make a fast decision based on the rest of the letters in the word. That's why the Z, S, and E are now placed close to each other. QWERTY is an old legacy from the very first typewriters, but it's not the only echo from the past that stuck around. Most modern keyboards still have keys like scroll lock, system request, and print screen. Scroll lock was made to turn the arrow keys into page scrollers versus moving the cursor through a text. System request is a button used on the first IBM computers to switch between operating systems. And print screen used to be the fastest way to print images from a computer. With a smartphone and internet in our hands at all times, who does much printing on paper these days? Now, if you think the English language standard keyboard is hard to use, I present to you the French layout, Azerty. To finish a sentence with a period, you need to hit shift and semicolon. You have to press down and shift to access the numbers. Also, there's a key for a letter that only occurs in one French word. Well, one of the most common letters is missing. Good thing a new standard was released in 2019. Well, good for French speakers anyway. The Turkish F is considered one of the most efficient keyboard layouts out there. 
They used a scientific method to measure the most frequent letters and put them in the most optimal place. This way, typing was equally balanced between two hands. Still, this super-efficient, scientifically tested layout isn't the most common for the Turkish language. So, we no longer need to interpret Morse code, and modern computer keyboards don't get jammed from overuse. Then why do we still use the QWERTY layout? Simple. It became a standard for the English language because we got used to it. But its days could be numbered. The new layout standard might be the CalQ keyboard. It features two 4x4 key grids and was created specifically for touchscreens on tablets and smartphones. You can already download an app and use it on your devices today. Then again, we might ditch keyboards entirely in the near future. Modern touchscreens don't require us to press individual buttons for each letter. Soon, we'll likely have a more efficient way to type. Maybe we'll simply swipe, use hand gestures, voice dictation, smart contact lenses, or even thoughts to type text messages to our loved ones. I'll let you decide what you think would be best down in the comments.